This episode is brought to you by Oracle. AI may be important, but it needs a lot of processing speed, and that gets expensive fast. Upgrade to the next generation of the cloud, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI. OCI is the single platform for your infrastructure, database, application development, and AI needs. Do more and spend less, like Uber, 8x8, and Databricks Mosaic. Take a free test drive at oracle.com slash enhance. Hello and welcome to Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. I'm Becky Parker Geist and I'm your host. Audiobook Connection is your place to learn about the audiobook creative process and for authors to learn valuable tips on producing and marketing your audiobooks. This podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Today, I'm going to share some top tips on running a cross-promotion. This is something that you would do collaborating with at least one other author. Now, there are lots of great ways to meet authors. And if you are one of those authors who hasn't really gotten out there, you may want to check out places like Bay Area Independent Publishers Association, That's B-A-I-P-A dot org, where we meet monthly. It's a wonderful group. IBPA, Independent Book Publishers Association, also an exceptional organization and something where if you are an independent author, you really should be a member of at least one of these organizations. There are lots of great ways to meet other authors, writing groups, for example, book festivals, lots of places. Let's assume that you have met at least one other author who is writing to a similar target audience, and that is key. Will your audience likely be also interested in the materials that your fellow authors might be are writing? Once you have a few, one or more, ideally even more than one other, but you can do it with just two authors. Then you can do a cross promotion. And so what I'm going to share today is some top tips on how to run a cross promotion with another author or other authors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you basically the playbook that we use at Amplify Audiobooks. Uh, We're doing our first one right now, so I don't have specific results for you yet. I will come back to you with those after we conclude this thriller month promotion that we're running right now, this campaign that we're running. But I want to tell you how we've put it together. It's generated a lot of excitement and just being able to collaborate with your fellow authors in active campaign is really exciting. So how did we do it? Step number one, we first identified who was going to be a part of the group. And once we did that, then we met on Zoom. We wanted to meet face to face, and that's a great way to do it because the authors are all over the world, and we wanted to gather to get to know each other a little bit and to start to build the excitement for the campaign that we were going to be running. We then made sure we were connected on social media. That was making sure that each person shared their handles on social media where they could be found. And then we did that cross-pollinating on the social media platforms. We then also created some social media post templates. Now, this could be in a smaller group if you're not working with someone like uh, the Pro Audio Voices team where you're getting some help and some facilitation with your campaign. You could just find out who in your group has skills to create some templates, give you guys some to help the group overall. And so that you're providing also some kind of consistent branded look. So that can be helpful, not required, but that's something that we did and we found was useful. Then we created a social media posting calendar. Now, we are running a month-long campaign. You might choose to do something shorter. Whatever your time frame is, it's really helpful to create a social media posting calendar that you share with your group 
so that each member knows what they're responsible for, what type of content they're going to be posting, and and when they're going to do it. Okay, then you may also want to be talking about email campaigns. Ideally, each author is consistently putting out an email newsletter, but that's not always the case. Now, you might have be able to get each member to go ahead and create some kind of email newsletter, even if they don't do it on a regular basis. Or you might just say, you know what, the ones who are already running a regular newsletter, let's ask those people to take those actions on behalf of the group and then not worry about the others who maybe aren't set up for that or as technologically savvy. So you're going to have to make that decision based on what your group's skills are. We then made sure that each of the audiobooks in the group were put on promotional pricing. If you're not on Amplify Audiobooks and you're trying to run a promotion, that's going to be really challenging because regular retail platforms don't give you the opportunity or any means by which you can actually run a promotion with special pricing. So If you're not on Amplify Audiobooks, I would strongly encourage you to go ahead and sign up because this will give you the tools to be able to run a campaign just like this. Okay, so you're going to set each book at a promotional pricing and you can do them individually. You don't have to have, it doesn't have to be a 20% off for each one, each author. Let them, each author decide what works best for them, but it will be helpful if each of the audiobooks that is participating is going to be on a special promotional pricing. You can create a boxed set, which is basically a grouped or bundled product. Now, we can do that on Amplify Audiobooks and did for our Thrills and Chills 2023 collection. And so what that does is it creates a way for listeners to... Actually, they can select which titles in that promotion, and if they hit a certain threshold, then they can get an additional bonus off from buying more than one or a certain threshold of products. And that threshold can either be the number of items or it can be a dollar threshold for the different books in the set. Now, in our case, we had some audiobooks that were short, about two hours long and others that were about 11 and a half, 12 hours long. So the pricing, of course, within and for each book, it differs dramatically. We also have some of the titles that are more elaborate. They're full cast productions. We have three of them in the set where there are many different actors, music, original music, sound effects. And so these are a different type of audiobook and generally would cost a little bit more or you would expect them to. And on Amplify Audiobooks, you actually get to decide what you're going to sell it for. And so you can actually set the price, not just suggest a price. Okay, then moving right along, part of that social media calendar or the campaign overall is a commitment to plan engagement. So engagement is the commenting the reposting, the sharing of social media posts so that a much broader audience is going to see each one. And that will help each member of the group as they are in the campaign. It will help all of their social media platforms to be more visible because of that engagement. So you can comment not only on the original post, but then you can also comment on people's comments really do everything you can to engage with the other members of this group that you're working with. Okay. And let's see then. So we also utilized our access calls program, which is a program where it's like a a monthly one hour small group meeting with a marketing expert so that we could get questions answered and address different ways in which we can help each other even more. So getting that marketing expertise as a part of it was is very helpful. 
And the, those access calls are something that you can get if you go to Pro Audio Voices, check out the marketing options that's available to anyone, whether we have produced your audiobook or not. We also took advantage of Voxer, which is like a, it's a communication app and it's, you can have private group chats. So what we did is we set up a group on Voxer for the authors to all be able to communicate with each other on a a quicker basis and not utilizing email because email, we so quickly can lose track. Many of us get so many emails that it's overwhelming and it's easy to miss things. So we're using Voxer as a way to stay in touch as a group during this campaign and hopefully beyond and be able to help each other out. And that can include things like either questions that come up. It could be nudges to take a particular action like, hey, did you write that review or did you post that review? It can also be things like, I just posted, please go comment. Let's take a short pause and we'll come right back and talk about more tips for cross-promotion. Frustrated by the royalty rates for your audiobook? Annoyed that when the digital distributors say 70%, they actually mean 70% of 50% or 80% of 70%, neither of which is an actual 70%. Wishing there was a way to cut out or at least shrink the middleman, yet You want your audiobook listeners to have a smooth and positive experience, and a direct download sale from your website won't deliver that. Pro Audio Voices hears you. Out of our commitment to our author clients, we've created Amplify, a program that provides an actual 65% royalties of the price you set, that gives you access to your customers' names and emails so you can reconnect with them and keeps you in the driver's seat. Check it out at ProAudioVoices.com in the marketing menu. Okay, and then another thing that we implemented was one of our members provided a list of questions that would be fun for the other authors to answer one or more of those. And then that generates content that each member could take advantage of and utilize as a part of their own posting or email or blog posts, things like that. Then also blog posts specifically is something that can be also cross blog posting. So when one way to do that is when you are posting on your blog, you can then reference and link to your collaborator's blog. And it's a way that you can be talking about your own projects or each other's projects. And you'll have a greater, the algorithms pick up on these kinds of connections that we're making that are not all me, 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 right? It helps when we're connecting with others and reaching out to others and building our audience in that way. We also have done cross reviews. If you are familiar with with Amazon and Audible, their policies actually prohibit that behavior, but we encourage it at Amplify Audiobooks. So what we did is we assigned each one of the member, the authors in the group to the title of another member of the group to listen to the audiobook and write a review and then post that review on Amplify Audiobooks but also share it in social media. And we included that on the social media calendar. Include it in your newsletter that's going out. And then again, all of these are like opportunities. You're creating different kinds of content and assets where you can share, you can comment, and it builds a whole, truly a campaign in which everyone's participating and contributing. One of the other things we did is some of our authors already have existing video trailers for their work or audiograms. And so those are opportunities as well. That's It's a type of content that is really very helpful and useful. 
So those can also be posted, commented on, shared from one author on the same platform to another, on another author's following to their page and such. We then also looked at opportunities for being podcast guests. Now, on Audiobook Connection, I invited the members of the group to be interviewed by me. Some of them already had been, and some hadn't yet. So that was fun, and we had the ability then to use that as another opportunity that we included on the social media content calendar so uh, that, that people would know when those episodes would go live and could then share and comment on those. If any of the members are doing live events, and we did have at least one member who was doing a live event, if you're doing a live event, that's another opportunity. You've got many things that you can do, including promoting the boxed set, promoting your own audiobook, promoting the, the work of the others in the group. So many opportunities. Also with the a live event, one of the things that, that can be done is to utilize a discount code or a coupon code that might be in addition to the existing promotional sale price. So that is something, again, not available anywhere else, but it is available to you on Amplify Audiobooks. Another great reason to get on board on Amplify Audiobooks. And then one last thing that we did talk about, and that was about a giveaway. Since we're doing a month-long campaign, since we're doing a boxed set, we decided that it would be fun to also provide some kind of giveaway for people who go ahead and purchase the boxed set or books from the boxed set. And we brainstormed together what might be a good giveaway item or items. And some of the things that we brainstormed, I'll just give that list rather than saying what we ended up offering. And you can find out what that offering is if you go to Amplify Audiobooks and look at the Thrills and Chills set. It will tell you right there. But some of the possibilities were things like an autographed gift copy of the print edition from each of the books, ebook copies. Swag. If you have swag for your materials, your books, we have swag. As you can see, I'm wearing my Pro Audio Voices beanie today. It's kind of chilly in Portland, but maybe you have mugs or bookmarks, whatever swag, any kind of swag would be a possibility. Another was meet the authors. You can do like a private Zoom chat with the winner and Maybe it's for one of the members of the group, or maybe it's for the whole group, depending on how many you have and what scheduling possibilities there are. But these are just a few ideas, and you may have many more, but I want to just stimulate your thinking about what could you offer as an additional bonus for participating with the campaign and making a purchase. And then make sure that you set up what that drawing, when it's going to, the prize will be drawn, obviously, at the end of your campaign and probably give yourself a couple of days afterwards to make sure that you can get that done, figuring out who's the winner and then implementing the, the prize. And you might want to do that as a live event. And when I say live event in this case, probably on some kind of social media live. Whatever works for you. So think about what your options are. Maybe it's on a Zoom and you invite people to attend. All those people who purchased maybe get to attend. You know, do your own brainstorming and your own figuring out what's going to work best for you. That's sort of our playbook right now. And I'm sure that new ideas will come up and develop as we do these kinds of campaigns where we're working together as an author community to help each other out, help each other grow, help each other thrive. That's what we're all about at Pro Audio Voices and Amplify Audiobooks. We are here to help our authors thrive because that will surely make this world a better place. Thanks for being with me today. 
This has been fun, and I hope it has been helpful. Please, if you have any questions, reach out to us. If they're specific to Amplify audiobooks, you can reach out to us at amplify at proaudiovoices.com. If they're more about production, you might reach out to us at admin at proaudiovoices.com. I, we'd love to hear your questions. If you have things that you'd like me to podcast about, please let me know. We're here to be of service and to help. Have an awesome day. Thanks for joining us for Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. Please take a moment to subscribe at audiobookconnection.com. The podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Learn more at proaudiovoices.com. Again, thanks for being with us, and please join us next week. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.